Stephen Whitney here from Top Guns out of Terre Haute, Indiana. Whitney is new with us. I'm just learning a little bit about Whitney, so I've invited her in on this particular video. Whitney, for starters, tell us a little bit about what you like to do. What caused you to come in and work at Top Guns? Well, my favorite thing is to be outdoors. I love to hunt. I love to bow fish, which Steve has no idea what bow fishing is, but you I know. I didn't. <laughs> she just tell. You so, know what? There may be people out there that don't know yeah, what bow well, fishing. Well, bow tell fishing us. is awesome. You use a bow. The arrow's got a string attached to it, and you shoot crap fish like gar. Car. Is that hard to do? Yeah, it's, it's pretty difficult, but you know. But you've you done learn. It. Yep, you learn. Yep. So uh, so now I've been educated on Whitney, and we're going to do our best to educate Whitney a little bit as well. You know, today, one of the things that Whitney told me uh, that she would like to do was at some point to try shooting some ballistic armor. And the company that we have today here is who? Defender. And question, Steve, why is there no vowels in Defender? I don't know why, <laughs> but if you want to look up Defender, uh, we'll have the website down at the bottom of the screen. You can go to their website, check out their product if you like what you see on the video. We are going to throw several rounds down range on different types of uh, vest mm -hmm. and see how they perform, different calibers. So let's go, have some fun, yep. see what we can do. Let's go do it. We're here on the range. I apologize for any shots you're hearing in the background. The next range over has people in it shooting and we can't really prevent that. Whitney wanted to pick out the rifles that we're gonna shoot today, I think pretty much because she wanted to shoot them today. Yeah. Whitney, what did you pick out? I picked the M1A SOCOM 16 308 by Springfield Armory, and I also picked the Tavor 556. Awesome, I think she picked that one because it looks cool. Yeah. Uh, over here on the pistol side, we have the Glock 19 and 9 millimeter, the SIG 220 and 45, and we're gonna shoot the 57 by 28, uh, made by FN. Now, today we're gonna start off with Defender Armor's level plus three plus plus, plus. Yes. yeah, the three plus plus, and you'll see the stats down below as to what that should be able to stop. We're chambered up, ready to go. We're gonna start off with the SOCOM 308. All right, we're chambered up on the Tavor. Uh, the Tavor is not zeroed for this short a distance, so I'm gonna do my best to offset and try to hit dead center somewhere close to it. All right guys, I've got a magnet on the back of my phone and as you can see, we are gonna use an armor piercing round. So, load that in on the top. We're going to get the gun. Number one round, pull the bag out. Uh, first round will be a non-armor piercing, the second round will be an armor piercing. Go ahead. Man, I'll tell you what, that is one absolutely tough plate. Uh, you know, first off, something that light to be able to stop all the way up to including armor piercing. Did a great job stopping the 308. Did a great job stopping all the armor piercing we threw at. The only minor hiccup that we had throughout the whole entire thing was uh, we, I literally put a round 100% smack dab on top of the 308 round. I put an armor piercing right on top of it. And that one did make it through, but other than that, everything we threw at it, Nothing has made it through. And I'll tell you what, here in a little bit, we're gonna throw quite a few more rounds at it that are non-armor piercing, just to see how much more this bad boy can take. All right guys, so we're, uh, I've loaded up the Tavor with five more rounds. We're gonna shoot five rounds of 556 five, at it and see what it does.
I stopped one round short because that last round sounded kind of funny and felt kind of funny. I just want to make sure I don't have a, a round stuck in the barrel or something. Here we are. Uh, there's the front half of this. Back side of it, still looking absolutely tough. And uh, we did have the one hole where we landed a armor piercing round directly on top of that 308. So uh, that one did penetrate. But the other armor piercing uh, round that we put through did not penetrate and several 5.56, five, nine millimeter, pretty much everything else. So my first observation on this level three plus, uh, you know, it doesn't stop the armor piercing rounds, but it does stop 308, it stops 5.56, five, it stops 7.62 by 3.9. And uh, my first observation is it is stupid light. To, for, for a plate that's able to stop up to uh, 308, 556, 762 by 39, a lot of high powered rifles. That is crazy that that thing is as light as it is. So let's, let's see if it does what it's meant to do. Okay, we're gonna start off with the 308. I'm gonna go ahead and put two rounds in it this time. Let's see what it does. All right, four rounds of 5.56. Five, what he's getting ready to do, she's getting ready to put a round down range. It is not rated for this. This is a 57 by 28. It is an armor piercing round. Uh, so what they call an armor piercing round. So uh, it shouldn't stop this, but we're gonna see if it might. Go ahead and check her up and let it roll. All right, as you can see, no penetration. That thing did an absolutely stellar job. Level 3A by Defender. I can hand you that one, trade you out. All right, we're gonna start off with three rounds of 45. Ready? Go ahead. is bad it literally flattened you know the other thing we should make mention that is cool you should keep that the other thing we might make mention is uh, not only is it stopping the rounds but you can look up unlike with steel plates not only are steel plates heavy but steel plates sometimes you'll get deflection where the, the fragments will go up and they can still uh, hurt a person and in this case Bob here has had nothing come up and hit him anywhere. So that's pretty impressive that it's not only stopping the round, but it's catching or capturing all the fragments as well. The first round I shoot towards the top of the vest is gonna be a, one of the blue tip made by FN. The other is gonna be the green tip made by FN. It comes in a red box if you've seen those out at retail. Uh, we're gonna shoot four of the green tip through it and one of the blue tip. The green tip I'll shoot toward the bottom of the vest. The, green, the blue tip I will shoot towards the top of the vest. So, I now know that you're going to see that part of the video because that is, I can hear it in there, hear it? Uh, that is super, super impressive. How did they perform? Let's start off with our, our pistol. This performed very, very well. As you can see with the pistol rounds, it did not go through at all. And it smashed the bullet as soon as it hit. 
So one of the things that was, uh, I mentioned this once before, but one of the things that was really, really impressive is not only did it take multiple rounds from different pistols, yep. uh, but it captured all the fragmentation. So none of the fragmentation uh, went up and hit Bob. That was super impressive. And all, all of the panels did that. Yes. I spoke with uh, Defender real quick. I had a couple of questions for them to make sure I wasn't doing anything incorrectly. And, and one of the things I had said, I said, hey, you're going to be uh, impressed by the fact that this thing stopped five, seven rounds. And he said, well, no, we actually designed it to do that. So what's really neat is while a normal level 3A, uh, by their standard, does not require it to stop a round that out of a five, seven, uh, the fact is that Defender has decided on their end, they wanted to make sure that it would stop a five, seven round. So we not only shot blue tip, but we shot green tip 5.7 at it. Uh, again, out of a pistol, but I, my understanding is pistol rifle didn't make much difference, again, after a, a quick phone call. But uh, so I was super, super impressed with the way this thing performed from start to finish. And I think that'd be great for backpacks. I think it'd be great for briefcases. They make a straight one as well. So kudos to Defender for making this thing. It's super lightweight and- Super would be, light. Yeah. I'm going to have a hard time not getting some of those and putting them uh, in some of, uh, I've got some family members that they carry briefcases and I think I'd like for them to have them in them, so yeah, really cool. Yep. Next we have, what do we have here? The 3 plus Defender. Alright, so that should stop basically our 308s, our 556, yep. not necessarily armor piercing green tip stuff, but it should stop basically everything else. And of course, pistol rounds as well. Pistol rounds, we did shoot quite a bit through that, and uh, no surprise here, performed flawlessly. You can see the, the bulge is in it. I don't know if it shows up on camera or not. Yep. And to finish this off, we have the 3++ plus plus Defender Armor Ballistic Plate, and Steve will tell you all about it. All right, guys, the 3++ plus plus, uh, also didn't let us down, performed really well. It is designed to stop rounds such as your 308, your 7.62x39, your 5.56, and even your green tip light armor piercing 556 as well. We shot it uh, several times with 308, yep. 556, 556 green tip, and several pistol rounds. We had one item that did make it through. It was a an complete anomaly. Uh, I happened to, and it's not because I'm a great shooter, but rather I just happened to get really lucky. I uh, put a 556 light armor piercing green tip directly on top of a 308 round and that particular round did make it through, but, but of all the shots that we shot at it, that was the only one that made it through. I want to stress that is uh, an anomaly, and I don't know of any armor company that makes an armor plate of this nature that placing one on top of another wouldn't have made it through. And I've, I've done several other tests where, quite frankly, even the first one went through. So. Um, Kudos to these guys for designing a plate that is able to take as much as it was able to, as much stress yep. and abuse as we put it through. So Steve, if I were to get one of these, which one would you recommend for me? Ah, it's a tough question. You know, they, all of them are extremely light. Uh, I would say I have a set of these in a plate carrier that I, that I happen to like. I wouldn't hesitate to have these, especially I'm probably going to get some of these in the flat model that they mm -hmm. make for some family members for briefcases and things of that nature. You know, I, I'm i probably gonna lean this direction okay. because it stops everything that we threw at it, certainly all the way up to right just before you get to basically a high-powered rifle. So I was super, super, and that's so light. Gosh, I mean, literally, it's lighter than a tablet of paper, it feels yeah. like. But um, I, I think I'd probably go either one of these. This one, I think it's probably a little bit a little of an bit, overkill, yeah. So, but but any one of them are great. All right, guys, once again, we want to say thanks to Defender Armor for sending us some plates to do some testing on. We look forward to partnering with them and a few other companies in the future and uh, doing more ballistic testing. Yes, and if you like what you see, like, share, and subscribe. Take care.